Well, calls from people claiming to be election staff asking about information on mail ballots triggered a barrage of questions into our mailbox. Reporter Larry Seward has the answers. Renee wrote us about her dad. He lives in Claremont County, got a call from the Board of Elections about signatures matching identities. Her questions, how are they doing this? How do they decide who to contact? Do they know party choice when they're doing it? And if you miss the call, are they not sending you a ballot? Let's go see. Unfortunately, we need some additional information to process your application. Julia Carney directs elections here in Claremont County. Julia, when your staff is calling about signatures matching identities, why are they doing this? How do they decide who to call? Do they know party choice? And if I miss that call, am I not going to get a ballot? Well, they are calling if the signature on the application is significantly different than the one we have in our records. Uh, signatures are used to verify voters' identity both by mail and in person. If you leave out a middle initial or something like that, you, you won't get a call. The person calling does not know the party affiliation. We do make calls if you leave out your date of birth, uh, the signature doesn't match, you don't provide a driver's license or social security number. If you don't uh, call us back, uh, we will send you a letter in about three or four days after that, uh, requesting that you resubmit your application with all the information that's required. If I request an absentee ballot and decide not to use it, Am I still able to vote in person? You are able to vote in person at the Board of Elections, a regular ballot. We do ask that you, if you have that ballot, you bring it with you. It's considered a spoiled ballot, but at the polls on election day, you would have to vote a provisional ballot. It's not just Claremont County or Ohio. Would I be able to fill out some paperwork to vote provisionally that day, or how would that work? We would, yeah, we would work with them. Clerks in Indiana and Kentucky do the same. Per the Commonwealth's former chief of elections officer, the bottom line <laughs> is if the phone rings from your board of elections. Take that call. I mean, obviously people can spoof caller IDs. Um, but here's the thing is they're going to call you and then you're going to go to the courthouse. They're not going to spoof the courthouse. The courthouse is the courthouse or the county board of elections, wherever it's located. It's going to be clear that it's an official government voting. So you can trust that call and you can trust that request and please go in and fix your, you know, fix the issue. Uh, so your vote can count. In Batavia, Larry Seward, WCPO 9 News.